Tackle Box here. Today I'm going to open and install a blinking light win from Arcade Works. This was made so how the NES's, even if you change the 72 pin connector, will still sometimes have the flashing light problem with your games. You try blowing in them and all those other things. This is supposed to fix that permanently. So here we go. So here's the box it comes in. And it took me a little bit to get it. I th the website says wait six to eight weeks. I think I actually got mine in about four to five. But it's still a little long to wait. Here's the new tray that you have to install. And here's the new 72 pin that connects to the motherboard and then to where your game goes in. Got it. Alright, so let's see what all is inside the bag. Again, the tray feels nice, kind of sturdy instructions on how to install it and then here is the new adapters for inside your Nintendo and with this tray, it eliminates the need to push it up and down. Your games will just slide straight in, and they'll just stay there now. Uh, and then it has a little sticker that says, keep calm and don't press down. Cut. So there are six screws in total to take out of your Nintendo. You have one here, back here, in the middle, and then over on each side. So once you get those six screws out, take the top of this off, and then you have your RF shield here, and you have one, two, three, four, looks like five, six, and I'm missing the seventh screw there to take off, and we'll do that now. Now once you have all those screws off, you can take this little shield off here. And you're down to the tray and see how it is slanted that is where they say a lot of the issues come because you slide it down in there then when you push this down it straightens it out and they say the issue is the pins get caught they get bent they get twisted and everything else when going down at that angle now to get this tray out there's going to be six screws got one there two and three there, four, five, and six. So we'll remove those and take out the tray. I do want to point out that two of these screws that came out are bigger than the other ones. So I would make sure to set these to the side and make sure that you do not misplace them. And those screws came out of the first slot there and there. Okay, now that those screws are out, we'll remove the tray, slide it forward little bit and it will come out just like that. Set that to the side. Earlier when taking the shield off there's a screw down there if you can see it now that I missed. That one will also have to come off in order to get the 72 pin connector off. And there's another one right back there that is also hard to see that has to come out for nine total screws. So you just want to lift the motherboard out a little bit Grab a hold of this and pull it off. It can be kind of difficult to pull off. Might require you to use both hands, but it will come off. When you go to install the new one from the Blinking Light Win, it even has the little arrows that says this side up. It tells you exactly how to put it on. And those little teeth down there just slide on there. And it fits on just like that and I will tell you that was pretty hard to get on so now it's on there 
Let me set that back down into place. Now that you have your 72 pin installed, the tray has these little slots here that just kind of groove in over that connector and they slide straight down. Now, nice and neat. You had six screws on your old tray. This tray only has four screw holes. So you will have two screws left over. Okay, here the tray is in place, and it doesn't push down anymore. The game slides straight, nice and to your new 72-pin connector. And those two screws I told you to hold on to earlier, they might be important. Um, they were not used, so you didn't really have to hold on to those. Now we're going to put the RF shield back onto it. Now we have our RF shield back in place, all nine screws, all nice and in. It's time to put the top back on. And we screw the top in place. Now once you have all six screws back in place, you're ready to go try out your new blinking light win. So we've got our Nintendo hooked back up in my nice little corner over there where it goes. We're going to put in The Legend of Zelda. fits in pretty tight remember no need to push it down anymore solid red light that looks good and we have the Legend of Zelda it works first try no problem and I think we're good the installation wasn't that hard it kind of nice easy going through and they have instructions in case you're not sure how to do it um, it there was a tight fit to the games, but I think that's a good thing. Helps make sure it holds it in, keeps that connection nice and good. I don't really see anything negative about it yet. I want to keep testing it, keep playing my games, see how well they work. But so far, everything looks really good. I really like it, and I recommend it. If you like this video, please hit like. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit subscribe. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave them, and I will reply to them as I can. Thank you, and you all have a nice day.